That's gotta be a massive level 5 Bighorn. 150 to 193. I don't know if I've alerted him or a mountain lion has. He's alarmed though, so... <laughs> Whichever it was, we're just gonna take him down because he initially spooked over here from a mountain lion. I wanted to maybe try to use the bow, but I just don't think that was gonna happen. Like, he was nervously walking back to the zone where the mountain lion spooked him from last time. And I think we would have been on a repeat cycle there, but I believe that's dark brown fur type, which is actually something else I wanted, like a uh, fur variation diamond bighorn. I kind of had hoped that maybe we would get that after they are fixed, if they ever are. But either way, I believe that's, I guess, funny enough, the bighorns, because there's a little more mass and stuff there than the small diamonds. But he should actually be a pretty big one, if I'm not mistaken. And yeah, 172? That's not way over diamond, but that's definitely like a bigger horn shape than the other ones. Definitely not the best looking horns, but an improvement to be honest over the other one. And like I said, it's a fur variation. Dark brown's pretty cool. I wish I could have gotten him with the bow, but circumstances really, I don't think we're gonna allow that. And, to be honest, they're very skittish. It would have been difficult, even if circumstances were ideal. I thought that was a mountain goat at first, but no doubt that's an albino bighorn. It is a female, so probably not something that stays in our trophy lodge forever. But still one I'd like to get. And just because it is mountain lion drink time, or at least I think it is. Wow. <laughs> that was new. I don't think I've ever had the time changed as I shot, but I mean, the good news is, I guess we get to see it in the light, and also we didn't wait any longer and have it, like, leave the zone because of the time change. I will probably save the harvest because it's quite cool, and on the off chance we ever get a multi-mount with females, I would definitely want to have that because they are certainly rare. You don't see a lot of rare bighorn actually posted throughout the community. It is a silver, which is decent, I guess. But, yeah, I mean, it doesn't seem likely that there's ever going to be a multi-mount for, uh, you know, female bighorn. It would be more likely that it's two rams fighting or whatever. But just in case, we'll save it, and we'll have it there. And it's still very cool, but the whole thing with the lodge has always been gold or better rares, and I really don't have the room for it, like... There's nothing that I'd like to replace in the lodge right now with that, but still very cool. I actually cannot believe this. We found another level 5 elk, and I don't know if you could tell there, but once again, it's the brown fur type. I've had three diamond rocky mountain elk so far, all have been the brown fur type, and if this guy makes it, he would be number four. And I really want to try to use the bow this time, but there's a couple of factors that are really not on our side. I mean, the wind is just terrible. It's almost night, like it's 1844, so less than five room minutes, it's going to be actual nighttime, and that's really not going to help us, because we're not really in a place where we can see well. And also, I know a mountain lion ran down here too, I saw it a couple of times, so yeah. <laughs> that's really, really going to make this difficult, but we're going to give it a try. We're going to try to get him with a bow, and if it turns out that it's just not going to work, I do have the 7 mil, but... I mean, I know their feed zone is up the hill, so potentially they want to get back to that, and if somehow the mountain lion doesn't mess with it, maybe we can get off to like the side and have it where the wind's not going to be a huge factor, and just get a shot as he goes back, because they're going to be nervous for a while, and if that mountain lion continues to stick around, we're never going to be able to actually call them in, so we may need to rely on them trying to get back to the zone, it's just going to depend what's going on, but... For right now, I think the best we can do is just slowly kind of stick with them. And we're already needing the flashlight, so I don't love the direction this is going. Okay, so I thought they may have been nervously feeding there. I saw his antler at some point, like I know he's there. And I saw it sort of just bend down, so I thought that may have been what they were doing, but they're still nervous. And why did you suddenly just do that? I thought you were about to trot away. But, I mean, the wind's okay. I don't really want to shoot with a crosswind, but 
I don't think I'm risking a very long shot with it anyway. So we'll try to get in good and close. I mean, they're in cover, which helps us. It's just going to be a matter of like him actually staying there. And I guess really actually being there. I think he's there. Like I saw his antler bend down as if he was feeding, but I haven't seen him since then. All right, something is certainly happening. I'm guessing maybe they just went calm. I honestly have no clue. But that marker is where I last spotted the three. And it sounds like more than one animal moving around here, so... Is that him? That's him. Okay. He's definitely close enough, just gotta give us a second. That's gotta be a lung. I saw vital blood. My goodness. The work to get him with a bow. So much waiting and stuff, and I think we literally stocked in, like, pretty much to bow range. And something happened. I don't know what. I was just starting to hear footsteps, and I was getting ready to try to find a spot where we could get up and see him. And then all of a sudden, everything started moving. I have no idea why. I think they calmed down, and I think that's why he walked right to us. I think that call actually worked, but... Another brown fur type, level 5, Rocky Mountain Elk, and he is a diamond at 494. I don't know if that's a rack that I've had. It might be. Oh my goodness. We shot above the heart, between both lungs, and luckily the liver sits, you know, perpendicular to the lungs, so we got vital in that way. That could have been really bad. Alright, well he's definitely not even. You can see like this side's way skinnier at the back, where this side... Or maybe it just doesn't have... No. It's just got more mass. I wasn't sure if there was another point over there, but that was intense. I really like trying to get diamonds with the bow. I'm not a big fan of doing it at night, but that worked out pretty good. The circumstances on this map, like the diamond bighorn we got, just mountain lions and stuff messed with it. I knew with a collar we'd have a shot with this one. I didn't expect to get a shot that close. That worked pretty dang good. So that certainly turned out to be a very interesting hunt. Everything from the time getting changed on us mid-shot to a uh, giant diamond bighorn being right in front of us to trying to stalk an elk at night. But I didn't realize how big a difference there was between like the bigger horns for a diamond bighorn and the small horns. But seeing them kind of side by side like that, you really get to see it. And I don't know. I'm glad we got a fur type one. I still hope, you know, sometime in the future, the horns kind of get fixed and look a little more realistic. But... It's nice to have two of them, good to have like the big and the small horns at least, because there's some variants there, and like I said, the fur type's cool. But then, speaking of fur type, I can't believe we got yet another brown diamond Rocky Mountain Elk. I really, really want light gray, they're my favorite. And even just something different, like a common or whatever, but I put him here, because this is our hallway of like the biggest diamonds in the game shot with a bow, so we got the water buffalo, the euro bison, cape buffalo, and plains bison. And I have the bow that we use for all those right here. So I thought it made the most sense to put this guy up on this spot. And the one that was there is now back here. Now this is the one we shot with the recurve. So it's still like all bow kills in this hallway. But I don't know. I thought it made more sense to put the one shot with the same bow. Kind of like out front. So yeah. I mean definitely good to get another big plaque filled. That's what we have the most of empty in the lodge I think. So we'll definitely take diamond rocky mountain oak. Brown fur type or not. So yeah. That's going to do it for this video, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.